Welcome to Cooking Curves Coding Class. Today, we're going to talk about the top five Scratch 3 features. The official release of Scratch 3 comes out on January 2nd, 2019, which is just a few days from now. It's on Wednesday, and this is the beta editor, which looks very nice, and I'm very excited for the official release. All right, let's talk about features. Let's get started with number five. You can scroll through all of the different types of blocks. In previous versions of Scratch, there were different tabs up here and you would have to click on each one to get to the different type of block. Now you can scroll through them, although you still have the ability to use the tabs if you want to. Moving on to number four, Google Translate. You can now click here on the extensions button and click on Translate to Google Translate any string of text into any language. Moving on to number three, Scratch Bit. The Scratch Bit is a small device with a bunch of sensors and lights on it. It'll connect to your computer through Bluetooth and you'll be able to control your Scratch project with it in various ways. It will be released eventually and will cost around $30. And now number two, the stage is on the right. This is much better than having the stage on the left because it just makes so much more sense. With the stage on the left, you'll start with your code blocks, and then you'll drag them to the right into your editing area, and then you'll look all the way to the left to the stage. It just doesn't make sense. While having the stage on the right, well, you start with your block, right? You drag it to the right into your code editor, and then you look even farther to the right to the stage. It makes so much more sense. Moving on to number one. That's right, the one we've all been waiting for. The main selling point of Scratch 3, HTML5! This means that Scratch 3 will run on any device, including your phone. This is an actual screen recording of me using Scratch 3 on my phone. However, Scratch 3 is dropping support for Internet Explorer, Opera, Vivaldi, and silk. This is good because we'll never have to see this screen again when we go to Scratch, and it'll open up Scratch to tons of new people. All right, now it's time for the honorable mentions. Text-to-speech. You just click down here on extensions, click text-to-speech, and now you have a few different voices. Listen to the alto. I like bagels. Now the tenor. I like bagels. Squeak. I like bagels. Giant. I like bagels. And now my favorite, kitten. Meow, meow, meow. Such a great, great voice. Up next, we have the ability to change pen saturation, brightness, and transparency. This makes our pen be able to fade away like that. Or it can get brighter like this. Or it can get richer and darker in color, though you can't really see that in this recording. Remember the surprise sprite button in Scratch 1, where you would click it and you would get a random sprite every single time? Well, great news. It's back. In Scratch 3, hover over the new sprite button and click surprise to get a random sprite. I'm glad they brought this feature back because I really liked it. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And remember to close the door.